By now, we all know mom was right. Going to bed and getting a good night's sleep makes it so much easier to get through the day. But now, new research shows the exact time you go to bed could determine how healthy your heart beats. The European Society of Cardiology's latest study shows falling asleep between 10 and 11 p.m. lowers the risk of developing cardiovascular disease, warning early or late bedtimes may be more likely to disrupt the body clock. The study, which followed 88,000 people in the United Kingdom for nearly six years, found night owls who went to bed after midnight had a 25% higher risk, while surprisingly, those who said good night before 10 o'clock had a 24% higher risk when compared to those who fell asleep in that golden hour between 10 and 11 p.m. The connection between clocking what time you go to sleep and cardiac risk even more pronounced among women. People have a tendency to more think of cognitive health when they think of sleep. But remember something, when you're asleep, it's kind of giving your heart a little bit of a break to rest and relax and be ready for the next day. So when you shorten that time, your heart unfortunately doesn't get the rest that it needs. Americans still adjusting to life after COVID lockdowns report they're increasingly finding it a struggle to get the snooze time they need. Since the pandemic began, researchers around the globe have seen a surge in sleep disorders. Two of every three American adults report they're sleeping more or less than they want to. How can you combat what they're calling coronasomnia? Set a timer on your phone to remind you that it's time to go to bed. Number two, have an accountability partner. The third one is don't do anything before bed where you lose track of time, like scrolling on your phone. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Carrie, what is it about this golden hour between 10 and 11, an hour none of us has ever seen before, <laughs> that makes it so much healthier for your heart? Well, you know, the folks who did the study looking at people sleeping like this, following all of their monitoring, realize that it has something to do with the circadian rhythms that we have when we go to sleep. They don't have a direct causation figured out yet. That's the next part of the study. But as you pointed out, guys, some people do not go to bed in that golden hour for good reason, mm -hmm. right? That's right. Yeah. Carrie, yeah. thank you. How, what, you go to bed at 10 at night? Yeah, well, I don't like to go to bed much before Nick. So, but, <laughs> smart. But, the pro but no, but the problem is I get up early, so right. I'm yeah. probably negating the golden hour. And you don't yeah. nap. No. Okay. You're not, you go straight through. Yeah. You power through. Well, because then I can't go to sleep at night. You're also the most energetic person I know. Yeah. I just, how do you do it? I don't know. I just, day I'm, after day. I He's work not with a human. you guys. He's not a human. Go I work with you guys. Energy. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.